Okay, first tell me, what do you have to say for the the police made? You know, listen, I'm very grateful, Baruch Hashem, to the outstanding work of the NYPD and the Bar Park Chimer. I uh, especially want to thank the Bar Park Chimer who volunteered and have been out there working hard on our behalf. I think this is terrific teamwork that they caught the perpetrators. I think that all of us are very concerned here in the community in Borough Park and Flappers and Crown Heights all over Brooklyn about these knockout attacks. I think that, you know, when people call them a game, it's absolutely wrong. It's not a game. A game is Monopoly or football or baseball. It's not a game when you attack someone, especially when you attack someone who happens to be Jewish. And it's not a coincidence when you see incident after incident after incident that almost exclusively Jewish people are being attacked. When was the last incident? I'm sorry? When was the last incident? The last incident... You plan to introduce new legislation in the New York City Council? The New York City Council doesn't have the ability to introduce legislation on felonies, just misdemeanors. So we're going to have to rely on the state to introduce legislation. Already there is an assembly member from Schenectady who has introduced legislation to make this kind of knockout punishable by 25 years in prison. What are you saying to that NYPD for that copy act? I mean, I think it's important to understand that by the very nature, every single knockout is a copycat, right? Because what that means is somebody who's doing a knockout, they didn't hear about it on their own. They heard about it from somewhere else, and they're engaging in it because they're trying to copy other people. So, of course, it's a copycat act. Every single knockout act is a copycat act. And the reason it's copycat is because, quite frankly, what's happening is these are people who are copying what they've seen on television or heard on the radio or just heard.